YouTube, what's happening? It's us versus life. I'm back with you. I have another video for you. And in this one, I want to talk about what is your value? And do you matter? What is your value as a person? And do you feel you matter as a person? This is us versus life. Go back and listen to my other videos and you'll get a better understanding. But this is about all of us versus life fighting for happiness. So, when I ask what has value or who has value, does a tree have value? Now, stay with me. Does a pencil have value? Does the air have value? Do words have value? Does a cheetah, the animal, have value? A crocodile, an alligator, a bird, an eagle, the rain, the sun, the moon, the stars, the grass, the dirt, the concrete, a car, a computer monitor, a computer, a laptop, a fingernail, a toenail, a toe, a finger, a leg, an arm, a marker, a hat, a scarf, you name it. All of the things that you have seen on this earth, do they have value? Again, we started by asking, do you as a human have value? And then we ask questions about an atom, a proton, a neutron, an electron, the smallest of things. Do they have value? These are just questions that I want to ask that we want to ask over here to us versus life. And again, go back, listen to the intro video. Um, also, I'll kind of go into it a little bit here to kind of explain what this channel is about. It's all about us, all of us, every single one of y'all, every single person listening to this. This is about you. Yes, you. You, yeah. No, not someone else. You. Individually, you, you, the one listening to this, I want to make that clear. Do you have value? Do you matter? Those are two questions. So, there's been times where I've heard people talk about a person. And they will say, well, this person isn't doing well with their life. They don't have a job. They're not earning money in any way. They're living off of someone else, their parents or whatever. And I thought to myself, does that person have value? So I'm asking the question to you. Does that person have value to you if they don't have anything to offer? other than themselves. Does that person have value? Do they matter? Maybe that person could be you. Maybe not. Maybe you're the person that's doing well in life. You've worked hard. You've earned everything that you wanted. And you're the one supplying other people with the money and the, the resources. And do you have value? If you're the person doing that, do you matter? 
What about a homeless person that you all may have seen on the streets or wherever? And they're begging for money, right or wrong. They could be begging because they need food or they're just begging because they want a, another beer. Does that person have value? And do they matter? What about the, the sky? Let's call it the blue sky. Maybe we've seen a gray sky. How about a rainbow? Does those things have value? The earth, the space, the darkness, the light. Are you starting to get my point? Every single thing. I've um, seen a video one time on YouTube about these organisms. They're very small. You can only see them with a uh, microscope and they can live in hot lava does lava have value does those organisms that live in that hot lava that no one ever saw really except those that have seen it with the microscope and now know that they exist if you've never heard of this this is true does those things have value okay so now that I've asked all these questions, said those things, you know, maybe some people are like, what is he talking about? He's talking crazy. Maybe. And if you're not, and even if you are saying that, I want you to listen to what I'm saying. What has value to you and who has value to you? Right? Do you have value? Do you think you have value to other people? Do you want to have value to other people? All those things I just named, whether they are living or inanimate, do you think those things would want to have value? Just for a second, we consider that not just us would want to have value, meaning us individually. As we look at ourselves, we say, I want to be valuable. Maybe. Maybe you don't say that. I'm just saying. Just talking to those that may say that. Say, I want to have value. I, I matter. Individually, I matter. No matter what other people say about me, I matter. But what if other people are saying that? Other people are saying, I matter too. But how do we reconcile this if I'm saying I matter, for example, and someone else is saying they matter, but we don't see that we're both saying the same thing? I don't know. So for me, this is why I created Us Versus Life, because we're all, I think, me, personally, in the same situation. You may be in varying levels, as I've said in the prior videos, in this situation, but we're all living in the same situation. If you're living outside of the situation, then I don't know that you can even hear this video, or I don't know, you exist in a different reality. But if you're in this reality, then we're all just live in the same situation. So it's us versus life, not in a ne negative way. But the, the reason I named it this is just so we can kind of maybe unify and understand that it's all of us come into existence, into a situation that we had no knowledge of before, unless you did, then put it in the comments if you did. And we came to an understanding and we said, oh, what's going on here? Right? But again, this video is about value. Human to human. Human to everything else. What value do we see? Do we matter to each other? 
or do we only matter to ourselves? Is the value only that which the individual perceives, or is the value true no matter who is perceiving it? Is it relative, or, you know, is it objective? Is it subjective? Let me say this clearly, because I'm not trying to use words. No offense that someone may not understand. Is, is the value of a person only based on what an individual thinks? Or is it only based on what a group of people think? Or is it only based on what a larger group of people think? I mean, what are we basing it on? It's a question. Not me saying one thing or another. It's just a question. And then those things that someone has decided to place value on things or people do do they matter i think i think these are good questions i don't know maybe uh they are not to uh you guys listen i don't know i feel like these are two good questions to ask do you have value and do you matter? See, I'm going back to start with humans because I think humans are at the hierarchy of things and then we go down from there. I'm not going to talk about why I would say that right now, <clears throat> to be honest with you. But I just look at it, me personally, and I go, Do, does everyone feel that they matter? See, now we've switched from asking you if you think you matter to does everyone feel that they matter? Does everyone feel that they have value versus asking yourself, do you have value? Now it's like, do you, does everyone see everyone else as having value? And if they don't, who, did they, who do they not value versus who they do value? And how do they make that determination? On what basis does one determine what has value and what doesn't? Is it because of what someone can do for you? Is it the way that they look? I don't know. So what you'll notice a theme of on my channel, what I do is as I ask questions and, and talk about things in general, I will <clears throat> Excuse me. I will always bring it back specific to me. So my last video, I was talking about what is happiness. What is happiness to me? Then I talked about ask. I asked what is happiness to you. And so now I will say now that I've asked a lot of questions about all these various things, and basically what I was trying to say is everything in the universe as big as your brain can comprehend. Everything, every single thing down to the smallest molecule or atom or whatever, photon of light, everything. What value does it hold to you? And now I'll tell you what it holds to me. Let me say this very clearly. If you see where it's going, you know what I'm going to say. It all value, has value. All of it. Every single bit of it. From the tree, to the birds, to the wind, to the moon, to the sun, to the stars, to you, to this person, to that person, to a man, to a woman, you name it. I don't care what color you are, what car you drive, what job you work at. In my opinion, you matter and you have value. Right? So that's my opinion. But again, as I was saying earlier, I want to pose that question to you. You all. One, do you have value? Two, do you matter? Three, what else has value to you? 
four, what else matters to you? Okay, four simple questions. Four things to think about, regardless of your answer, good or bad. My opinion is, you matter and all things matter. You have value and all things have some level of value. And I've talked about levels in my other videos. Go back and listen, you'll hear. I think there's levels to everything. There's levels of love and all this stuff. I talked about that. I think we should always consider the levels, you know, just to have an awareness. Doesn't mean you doesn't love someone just because you don't love them as much as you love your mom or dad or, or your wife or husband or son or daughter. You can still love someone else. It's just a different level of love. But okay, whatever. Well, anyway, like I said, this channel is all about us versus life. We're fighting for our happiness individually and collectively. See, the individual part, I feel like we have a good understanding of, I think. I think most people feel like they can look at themselves and be like, yeah, you know, people don't understand me or, you know, I'm having a hard time and nobody is helping me and this and that. But I, I, I wonder if we are aware that other people are feeling the exact same way. And if we do recognize that, then do we then say, this is third, right? So first is, I understand that I have, I'm having an experience and my experience is good or it's bad. You know, maybe I'm, you know, someone could be rich and happy and don't have a problem as they perceive it in the world. Or maybe it could be the opposite of that, right? That's what I was just saying. But can the person that's having the best experience in the world understand that other people aren't? And can the person that's having the worst experience in the world understanding that some people are having the best experience? I don't know. Like I said, it's questions. I just wonder, are, do we have the perception as humans individually to see things collectively? Meaning, I see myself, but do I see others and what they are experiencing? So I just, you know, curious about that. Uh, but again, this video is about value and do you matter and what matters and what has value, etc. As I said, that's what I'm gonna title it, obviously. But later we're gonna we're gonna talk about a multitude of other things like relationships. And everything, like I said, this channel is going to be about everything within life. We'll get into everything, trust me, financial, uh, you name it, investing, uh, how to have fun, how not to have fun, what was good, what was bad, everything in between. Because I think we all can relate because we've all been living life. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to be uh, condescending or anything, but that makes sense, right? We've all lived life. Don't think just because you've lived your life that no one else is living life and you see them at, you see people all the time. Those people are living life too. <laughs> so that uh, what I'm saying is, I think there's sometimes a feeling that people feel isolated. Like, oh, it's just me. Myself included at times. But the thing is, more likely than not, other people have felt the exact same way as you are very similar, right? I think that's key to know, and we would call that having a perception. As we said, what level of perception do you have? What level of awareness do you have to know that? So it's it's been, you know... Another, uh, I think, good video, uh, I think another decent topic, and I think before I talk about relationships, because I talked about value 
and do you matter because that kind of was something that I thought about recently but I think the next video that I do I'm going to talk about something a little bit more upbeat because I feel like my last string of videos you know for, for this new channel have been uh, you know I don't know I'm not saying they've been negative but they feel like they haven't been exciting um We'll talk about something more fun like success and what that may feel like to people because I've had a level of success, don't get me wrong. And maybe some of you have as well, but for those that may feel like you haven't had success, what we need to understand is, is your perception of success correct? Because you don't want to be wrong about that because you may have had it and not know it. Okay? Let me say that again. Our perception of what a success needs to be correct because you may have had success, but you don't know it. We got to be careful of these things. Our judgment has to be accurate so that we don't make false decisions and create a false reality uh, because we didn't properly understand something, which is okay, but we want to understand things properly. So when we say, I haven't had success, that's truly what it is. Right. Somebody might say, well, who defines that? <laughs> yeah, that's a topic for another day. Well, anyway, I'm out. Uh, it's funny, I laughed at the last video because I cut it off. I was like, I got to go. Oh, the reason I did that is because I had to cut the video off because like I told you in the first video, if you listen to it, I said, I, I'm not editing. And there was some sound coming in. And I was like, I'm not going to edit, so let me just cut it off here because I know it's going to be some noise. And for now, I'm not going to edit, and I don't mean to be unprofessional, but I'm just not going to do anything fancy, you know. I'm just going to do this, and later on, we'll get into some better things, as I talked about, interviews and better graphics and all the fancy stuff, maybe, that people may enjoy that watch this. But for now, I'm satisfied with just putting the information out there. And, and if you can't tell, I'm just speaking. I'm just a guy speaking. You know, as I've said, it's not just for whoever's listening. Quite honestly, and I'm an honest guy. It's for me too. <laughs> anyway, us versus life. Now's the time, and this is the place where we all come together to fight for our happiness. It's us versus life. Peace.